We want our community to help us decide what our next school academic calendar will look like. We have three options for you to rank order as we complete a three-month feedback process before presenting a recommendation at our January 14th Board of Trustees meeting. We heard from our community in a thought exchange survey and listening sessions. During our learning, we identified the following components of past calendars to continue in all of our options that will be before you today. Start in mid-August in the middle of the week for students. Keep the one week off at Thanksgiving, two weeks off in December, and the one week at spring break, and end by Memorial Day or no later than the end of May. We did not get consensus from our families regarding additional time off from instructional days with students in classrooms. The district would use those days off for more teacher and staff planning time and professional development, either through an early release day or additional professional development days. So we have three calendars to review and for you to rank a standard calendar, a standard calendar with early release dates, and a standard calendar with two additional staff and student days off from school. Let's take a moment to review the components of each of those calendars, which you can review on leanderisd.org calendar. The standard calendar includes all of those popular components similar to the last two calendars in Leander ISD. This calendar does not include extra early release days as we put in place this school year as part of our response to COVID-19. A standard calendar includes a start date of August 12th, which is a Thursday, a full week off for Thanksgiving, two weeks for winter break, two days in October for our continuous improvement conference for staff, and then half days for all students on the last day of each semester. To provide some options for our community and to support our teachers and school staff through more planning time, we created a second option that includes the same components of the standard calendar with early release days, similar to the current calendar we have in place after our mid-year adjustment. So we have a standard calendar with early release dates that includes all of those components that were popular in our standard calendar, in addition to Wednesday 90-minute early releases throughout the year on most weeks on Wednesday. This time would be used for teacher professional development and training, time for teachers to meet with their professional learning communities, and teacher planning time. We did get feedback on early release options from our community to move those days from Wednesday to Fridays. However, our state's funding formula for schools depends on weighted average daily attendance. We feel a move to having early release days on Friday would be detrimental to our ability to adequately fund schools, operations, and our staffing. The next option for our calendar adds two extra days off for both students and school staff on our calendars. A standard calendar with two additional student and staff days off includes the following tweaks to the standard calendar. So again, we're building this off the standard calendar with all those popular items in place. In addition to that standard calendar, a start date that would be a day earlier, Wednesday, August 11th, instead of the Thursday, August 12th option in the standard calendar. We also add a student and staff day off on Friday, October 8th, on top of the professional learning and non-school days that we have the following Monday and Tuesday for our continuous improvement conference. And then we added a staff and student day off on February 21st, and we would also make Tuesday, January 4th, a student day off, which would combine with Monday, January 3rd to give equal two professional learning days after the two-week winter break. The board could vote to approve the calendar as early as January 28th. Thank you for your time and your feedback. Please visit leanderisd.org calendar for more details and information.